Welcome back. Well, it's Matter Matter. As you've never seen it before, the trailer for Peter Jackson's The Hobbit has just been released at 2am this morning. Yes, and it showcases some of the best which our landscape and our special effects wizards have to offer. Take a look at this. Far to the east, over ranges and rivers, lies a single solitary peak. The dwarves are determined to reclaim their homeland. I like visitors as much as the next hobbit. But I do like to know them before they come visiting. Mr. Baggins? At your service. Hmm? I'm surrounded by dwarves. What are they doing here? Oh, they're quite a merry gathering. So, this is the hobbit. You asked me to find the 14th member of this company, and I have chosen Mr. Baggins. Me? No, 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 no. Hobbits can pass unseen by most if they choose, which gives us a distinct advantage. We will seize this chance to take back Erebor. Yeah. Here, Mr. Bilbo, where are you off to? I'm going on an adventure. Miss Randir, why the halfling? Why Bilbo Baggins? Perhaps it is because I'm afraid. And it gives me courage. So this is your purpose, to enter the mountain. What of it? There are some who would not deem it wise. A dark part has found a way back into the world. Why don't we have a game of riddles? And if it loses, what then? Well, if it loses, precious, then we eat it. If Baggins loses, we eat it whole. Fair enough. I will take each and every one of these dwarves over the mightiest army. Loyalty. Honor. A willing heart. I can ask no more than that. Home is now behind you. The world is ahead. Well, that could have been worse. Oh, well, giggles in the studio here. What did you think? I liked it. I, I, OK, so it feels quite rounded to me. I was thinking journey from here to a mountain. Could be a bit boring. Might need fleshing out. I think they've uh, got the fleshing out bit. Do you know, it's hard for me because I watched that and the whole time I'm thinking, where is that? Where is that? And I'm trying <laughs> to work it out. And what's CGI in there and things like that? But interesting, just reading this article saying that it, they think it feels a lot different to The Lord of the Rings because The Lord of the Rings had that gritty film feel that this is very glossy and it does look like that, those colours really popped on the screen. Gritty versus glossy. Mm. I think you might be um, right there. Bit of humour. Yeah, well, Martin Freeman, the guy who's uh, the central character, is just... And, and, and Ian McKellen as well. Sorry, Sir Ian McKellen. Very funny man as well. Um, he doesn't like to be called Sir, but... So to, does he not? Well, no, let's call him it. Ian, then. Um, <laughs> Ian, but, he's good. But the reality is, I mean, whether you like fantasy mm -hmm. or not, it has all the ingredients of what is... It's got to be a good film. I mean, you know, with the whole Peter Jackson, Ian McKellen, Kate Blanchett, Martin Freeman... Plus Benedict Cumberbatch yes. plays Smorg, the dragon, and he's that fantastic... <laughs> Well, maybe it's just his name's yeah, so fantastic. Nice. Nice. Pretty no, good. I think yeah. he's, he's the Sherlock Holmes. Brilliant actor. Plus, it's 3D. Mm. I'm no uh, Lord of the Rings expert, but I just love Gollum. Did you catch yeah, that Gollum line? Yeah, Gollum delicious. If Baggins loses, we, we eat it all. He is a, he, 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 <laughs> do that again. <laughs> no, I did no, not do a very good job of that. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> that was fantastic. Um, no, who's that? It's Andy Serkis, isn't it? Yeah. He um. is fantastic. Plays bipolar like nobody else. And uh, I think that I think that there is that sense of fun with this. Maybe, but you know, the kind of the grandeur, the serious, the grit of the Lord of the Rings can calm down because this is the children's novel in essence. It is the prequel, uh, mm. so they can have a bit of fun, have a few laughs, have a couple of giants landing on a whole lot of dwarves, and everybody gets a giggle. I still want to know how they're going to turn what I think is quite a thin book <laughs> into three parter, but. They're, they're, they're the great filmmakers of, of the generation, aren't they? So I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Um, and this question which we raised at the beginning mm -hmm. of the show, um, which Tamati raised, about he felt slightly unpatriotic yeah. for not really enjoying Lord of the Rings. I wonder whether this will have a slightly wider appeal as far as storytelling goes. And I think three movies is quite a commitment if you sort of miss the boat as they were released. Whereas one movie, I think I can do that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is, this is opening before uh, Christmas. 
Okay, fantastic. So we get to see it this year. If you want to find that trailer, it's going to be reviewed online. Basically, this will has gone out. It was released at 2am, so I suspect it was for uh, a market offshore, mainly more than for us. There will be reviews written of that trailer, and people will be predicting how the films will come out. So uh, we'll bring you any feedback about that, but let us know what you thought of it as yeah. well. Yeah, and then part two's out in July next year, uh, and okay. on we go. Hey,